everyone. I'm Melissa here and welcome to your Melissa moment. Hello everyone. Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moment and welcome to try it Tuesday. You guys, you know how much I love Starbucks. And we have tried in the past to recreate Starbucks drinks at home, specifically the Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher. It didn't go great. It wasn't quite right. And we're in fall now. And Starbucks has released all of its wonderful fall drinks. And I have tried most of them. And I have fallen in love with their iced pumpkin cream chai latte. It's my favorite by far. That's the ice maker. Don't worry, we're going to need it. Uh, it's my favorite by far. But it's expensive, and I'm going there too much. So we're going to try to recreate it here at home. Now, I've seen a lot of recipes on TikTok and Facebook of people doing this. They're all a little different. They all have some different things going on. So I've kind of pulled from a couple different videos and kind of created something that I want to try with you today. Is it going to work? I don't know. Is it going to taste exactly like Starbucks? Probably not. Are we going to save ourselves a lot of money? Maybe. Is it going to be really time consuming? It depends. There's a lot of ingredients here. So let's jump in and give it a try. Okay. Um, Let's start by getting the cold foam going because in my opinion, the cold foam in this specific drink is the star of the show. If the cold foam doesn't work, this whole thing's going down the tubes. So um, let's start there. Now you can use different frothers. I've seen people on videos use just the little handheld frothers. Um, I have the Pampered Chef frother, which is an electric one. I love this one. I use it all the time. So we're going to use this one today. Um, if you're interested in this, I did do a video previously about this specific kitchen appliance. So go look for that one. It's a good video. Um, okay, so we're going to start with three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Okay, we have that one here. Um, Let's open it. These are all brand new. Let's open this and see. Heavy whipping cream. Yep, smells good. Okay, three tablespoons. We're going to measure. Until I know exactly what I'm doing, we're going to measure. And also, this could be tweaked, right? Like this, I may try this recipe and be like, nope, that's not it. And we maybe we'll go back in and try it tomorrow a little bit different. That's fine. Um, now we're going to add... They say two tablespoons of milk. I want to change that up a little bit, okay? I have got here the Silk Brand Pumpkin Spice Oat Dairy-Free Creamer. We're going to give this one a go instead of just regular milk. Also, you can make this completely dairy-free if you want to. I am using a heavy whipping cream, which is dairy, um, but I've heard you can do dairy-free. So if you for whatever reason, want to, feel free. So now we're going to do two tablespoons of milk, but we're going to use this pumpkin spice. Mm, yum. Okay. Now we are going to add more ingredients to this. However, we're going to start by frothing this on its own. Okay. Um, because I want it to be really nice and frothy. So I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to choose the cold foam. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to start it, and that's going to froth up. While that's doing its thing, let's jump over to the chai latte portion of it. Now, again, different videos. I've seen people um, get, like, the tea bags for chai tea and steep those. I've seen people use the chai tea uh, pods in their Keurig and do it that way. That's all fine. Um, I did see someone use this, the Tazo Chai Latte Beverage. Now, this is concentrated. Here's a funny story. 
I bought this from Costco because that's where you get it. I think you get three in a container, like three in a package. I bought this from Costco a long time ago. It's still good. We're still good. Um, and I opened one and I tried it and I did not like it. I didn't like it. That was before, however, I got the Starbucks pumpkin cream chai lattes, iced. So someone used this in a video and I'm like, well, if this is gonna work for my favorite drink that I can recreate at home, it's a win-win because I'm pretty sure I have two of these containers still. So <clears throat> let's do this. Now it does say, as I said, this is concentrate. You cannot, well, I mean, you could, I don't recommend drinking it as is. You gotta add milk to it. Otherwise it's just gonna be all bad, okay? It says right here, blend with milk. Enjoy hot or iced, okay? Every time I've seen them in Costco with samples, they've always had it hot. We're gonna do iced. So um, we are going to do half a cup of chai. Now again, one video, um, I got this reusable cup from Starbucks. What's great about this is there's the lines on it, which helps with measuring. Um, the first video I saw, they put the concentrate up to the first line and then the same girl was like, we're going to do it again. Some people suggested something else. So we're just doing half a cup. If I look at the actual ingredients on this container, it says um, a serving is half a cup. So we're going to start with half a cup of this. And I'm curious to see how far up that line it goes. So we're just going to do a half a cup of the concentrate. Half a cup of the concentrate. Uh, definitely does not go up all the way. Uh, there's the line and that's where it is. So it's like half of it. Oh, it smells good though. Okay, so I've got half a cup of that, then half a cup of milk. Now we have a lot going on with the cream. So I am just gonna use just a silk soy based unsweetened regular milk. It's not flavored. It's not vanilla. It's just regular. I'm going to do half a cup of that as well. Okay. Now the color looks good. You know how when you go to Starbucks and they hand you your drink and you can look at the color and know mm, that's not done right, right? You, you understand, you get used to the colors. Um, now we're gonna fill ice. So I've got my handy dandy ice maker here. We're gonna put ice in this baby. I like a lot of ice. So I'm gonna go a little mess with it here. Okay. Um, I may put a little more. I like a lot of ice, guys. I like a lot of ice. Okay, so I filled ice. Now, there's a lot of room still. I do not think that the cold foam is gonna take up that much room. Usually I like to leave about an inch for the cold foam, but new recipe, we're just gonna try it as is, okay? So that's it on that part. Um, now we're gonna go back to the cold foam. It has done its cycle, okay? It is very, very thick. Now comes the fun part. This is where the magic happens. We are going to put in a splash of vanilla. I use Mexican vanilla, but you can use any kind of vanilla you like. Um, also a sweetener of choice. Now, a lot of people like just stevia flavored syrups. You can get so many like pumpkin flavored syrups. I don't own any pumpkin flavored syrups, um, but I do have simple syrup. This is zero calories, zero sugar, zero everything. Uh, this basically is just a sweetener. It's, there's no flavor to it, it's just a sweetener. So I'm gonna put one pump of the simple syrup. We are going to put pumpkin pie spice. We're gonna put a dash of pumpkin pie spice in this baby. Mmm, cinnamon. I'm gonna add some cinnamon to it. Okay. 
perfect. And we're gonna put real pumpkin in this. Real pumpkin. Now this is pure pumpkin. Very important because right beside this on the shelf is pumpkin pie filling. You don't want pumpkin pie filling. You want pure pumpkin. What's the difference? This is just pumpkin. Pumpkin pie filling is full of spices, sugars, a lot of additives. Okay, it's meant for a pie. You don't want that. You just want pure pumpkin. So let me open this. First, we're gonna just give the little top of the can a little rinsey rinse here. If you know, you know. Um, and we're gonna open up this can of pumpkin. And we're gonna probably put in just a tablespoon of pumpkin. I think just a tablespoon. We'll see. Like I said, this is the first go. So I may adjust it later. But for now, this is what we're gonna do. Gosh, I hope this tastes good. If you guys have a version of a recipe that you love, let me know, because I wanna try it. Okay. Pure pumpkin, okay? Ooh, let me rinse this out real quick. Let me just give this a little rinse. We've got all of our creams and stuff there. Okay. So we're going to do like, you know, heaping tablespoon. And we're going to plop that in. Now, I've never put anything in this frother besides milk. So let's hope I don't break it. We're going to put the lid back on. We are going to put it on the cold foam one more time, and we're going to see what happens. I hope it mixes well. I mean, it is mixing. I may, I may have to scrape that side down. There's some pumpkin over there. I don't know if it's going to get to it or not. Let's just give it a little help. There we go. Let's give it a little help. I just want some of that flavor to get mixed in. And now I get to um, lick the spoon and see actually how it tastes. Hmm. I think it needs more spice, you guys. I think it needs more spice. That's a lot. Let's see. There it is. There it is. More spice. Okay. <clears throat> Let me move this aside. Those are all the ingredients. Once this is done, the color looks gorgeous. We're going to put that on top. We're going to put a little pumpkin spice, pie spice on top. And then it's going to be good to go. Let me grab a, um, I was going to say a spoon. Let me grab a straw. <clears throat> Let's go with a pretty orange straw for fall time. Yay. Um, oh my God, it looks so good. Okay. God, I hope this tastes good, you guys. It smells good. I hope it tastes good. My only concern is I didn't put any sweetener in this and it might need a sweetener. You know what? We're just going to give this a quick try just to see if it needs a sweetener. It needs a sweetener. So I'm gonna go back to my simple syrup. I'm gonna put two pumps of simple syrup in here. Mix that baby up. Give it a little taste. Better, okay. Don't forget, add sweetener to this too. This is done frothing. Can you guys see how beautiful? I don't wanna spill. Look at that color, okay. So now we're going to, oh, look how nice and thick that is, you guys. Yes. Okay, now it's really thick. And it's not filling up as much as the top that I wanted it to. So the next time that I go to make this, I am going to put more um, of the chai tea concentrate 
and more of the milk. Instead of half a cup, I'll probably do three quarter of a cup each, if I'm being honest. Do not want to miss any of this. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Okay. So normally there's more of a color definition between the drink and the cold foam. This one, it pretty much looks the same. Okay, it pretty much looks the same. We're just going to put a little pumpkin pie spice on top. We're going to just do a little dash of cinnamon on top. Okay, and we're just, we're going to taste it and see. Now, at Starbucks, this costs me like eight, nine dollars maybe. I get a venti. Um, so let's just, let's just see. Let's just, let's just see. You know what? I don't usually use a straw, so let me taste it without a straw and see. It's not the same. It's not the same. But it's pretty close. You guys, it's pretty close. I think if I tweak it a little, like let me mix the cold foam in. pretty close. I could definitely tell the difference if it was side by side with an actual Starbucks drink. But honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. I would definitely tweak a few things. Like I said, I would add more of the chai concentrate. I probably wouldn't do one to one on the chai and the milk. Maybe I would do a cup of chai, three quarter cup of milk, just to get more of that chai flavor. And then definitely add simple syrup to the chai drink, because it needs it, two pumps. And then more pumpkin pie spice and cinnamon in the cold foam. Um, I don't think I need to double froth it though. I think, I think just once is enough. Just put it all in there and let the frother go. I think that's enough. Um, I think just with those little tweaks, I think it's going to be pretty darn close to you guys. Like I would be happy drinking this and I'm so glad I know what to do with this now because this is exactly what I needed. This is perfect. Now I did not do a price breakdown for you. Um, I got to say, it's got to be cheaper though. It has to be. Because I mean, I got three of these from Costco. I don't remember the price, but I want to say it was like $7.99 for three. Like it wasn't that bad. So let's even say they're $4 each. Let's just say, right? I probably used that much of it. So even if I use more, one, two, three, four, five, you could probably get five drinks out of one for four bucks. Let's just say four. So a dollar for the tea, right? The milk, I mean, this is five bucks for a thing of milk, but this is good. You're going to get a ton of that. So let's say the milk was 50 cents. We're at $1.50. The vanilla is like nothing. The cinnamon's like nothing. The pumpkin pie spice is like nothing. The simple syrup, I mean, a whole bottle costs me seven bucks and you're using very little. So again, maybe like 20 cents on the syrup. So we're at what, $1.70? Let's, let's bump it up to two dollars with the the spices and the vanilla just in case you don't have it right 
The pumpkin was five bucks, but I used a tablespoon. You're gonna get a ton out of this. So again, maybe say, like, I don't know, 25 cents for the pumpkin. So that's $2.25. Um, what am I missing? Uh, the heavy whipping cream and the creamer. So what I say, $2.25. I mean, these were probably about four bucks each. And you probably would get, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, like eight out of each one. So what are, what are we at here? Um, four bucks each, you would get eight. That's like what, 50 cents? So a dollar for both. So that puts us at $3.25. The ice is nothing. Yeah. Let's say $3.25. I can make this at home for like $3.25. It probably costs me close to nine at the store. It's a third of the price. It's so good. You guys, I know it's not exactly the same. It's so good. I'm happy with this one. A few little tweaks, it's gonna be even better. It's gonna be even better. And like, oh, I wish you guys could taste this. Do it, try it. If you like Starbucks, if you like their chai tea, pumpkin cream, try this. Do your own little tweaks. Add in your own things, leave out things, whatever. This, if you've ever seen this in Costco and you're like, what would I do with that? This is what you do with this. This is what this was made for. I'm so happy. I love when Try It Thursdays work out. Yay, I'm so excited. Um, make sure you stay tuned next Thursday. Speaking of drinks and Starbucks, I am a Starbucks girl trying to, trying to save money here. I'm going to attempt to make my own caramel sauce. Yes, I know. I usually just buy the Smucker brand caramel for my iced coffees. I know it's full of crap that we don't need. Homemade caramel sauce is supposed to be better. It's supposed to be better for you, not as many calories, cheaper, the whole thing. I think next Thursday we're going to attempt to make our own caramel sauce. So if you want to know what I do, how I do, how it turns out, make sure you've subscribed, you click that notification bell so you get notified every single time we post a new Melissa moment. And uh, I can't wait to try that. It could be a complete game changer in my world of coffee. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. As always, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.